Hello, I'm very glad you are here because I wanted to show you something. In this video we will not use microcontrollers, Arduinos or uh, some similar boards. Today I decided to use only integrated circuits and some basic components to make this awesome project. Yes, it looks like something from uh, Back to the Future movie. Yes, it's not very useful project, but it was fun to make. I learned a lot and it looks cool. I hope you agree. I love to use these little wires. So, what we have here. Uh, first, you will notice uh, this DC motor. At first, idea was to make alternating direction DC motor circuit without microcontrollers. Later I added this 7 segment display because uh, uh, to be honest I don't know why I added it. So I uh, used this geared DC motor. You can find uh, them all over the internet. Check the description. I will post uh, some links. Okay, how this works? Uh, I don't know where to start. First uh, I see is L293. This is a DC motor driver I see. Uh, DC motor needs lots of current so it is not a good idea to connect them directly to microcontroller or integrated circuit. There is also problem with changing direction of rotation. Uh, this IC have two inputs. Let's call them A and B. When uh, input A is 1 and input B is uh, 0, motor will rotate in one direction and when uh, A is 0 and B is 1, motor will rotate in opposite direction. So I need something that will have two outputs. And here is IC I choose. CD4013. This is a flip flop IC. When a clock signal is applied, this uh, IC will have two states. In first state, output 1 will be 1 and output 2 will be 0. In the second state, output 1 will be 0 and output 1 will be. output 2 will be 1. <laughs> Uh, so outputs of this chip are connected to inputs of this one. I already made some cool videos with uh, this IC. Uh, this was binary to decade converter. Uh, link is in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel also. And this is famous 555 timer. When I need clock signal I love to use 555 because uh, they are simple and they have soul. Timing and uh, states are uh, adjusted with uh, these two potentiometers uh, and this capacitor. Using uh, these pots I can uh, set how long output will be high or low for example. But you are probably familiar with 555 timers are, are already. And here is CD4026, 7 segment display decoder. If I apply clock signal to this chip, so same clock signal produced by 555 timer, this chip will start count and display numbers on 7 segment display. On my channel you can find each of these integrate circuits better explained check my other videos if you can that's it today when I returned from work I decided to make something to relax and have fun this is project I made it is cool that I have someone to share with tell me what you think about this project uh, in comments thank you have a nice day and thank you for your time. I hope you learned something and feel free to share this video, like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.